everyone! Today's video is going to be me talking about my denim jacket, which I will just quickly show you. Uh, this one, just like a super quick preview. Whenever I wear it out, there's always somebody who comes up to me and kindly says that they, they really like it or they just ask me things about it. And so pretty much I thought I would make a video and tell you all about it here. So, uh, there's basically two things involved in this. One is I collect patches um, and pins. I've been collecting them for so many years I really don't know, like since I was little. I don't know when, but I just, at some point I just thought I really wanted a denim jacket just covered in patches. I had tried to find jackets in different places and I felt like I'd never really found the right one. So anyway, I was getting really tired of this. I happened to be in Brick Lane to get, was getting my hair done and I just popped in a couple of vintage stores and I was about to give up and I just went in this one, like it was like a last minute decision. I found this jacket, which was, it was great, it was big, very kind of like 80s, I guess early 90s. It was essentially like almost perfect. I basically just bleached it a bit more and that was it. So for me, that was like stage one completed. The next thing to do was obviously sew, as I say sew, right? You, obviously you can put, you can iron them on, iron patches on, but I don't really trust it. You'd be really like miffed if you, walking down wherever you were going and eventually one of the patches just like peeled off and you'd like collect that from somewhere special so that would be pretty sad so always sew them on so now i'm going to show you my jacket in detail and i'm going to go over like all the patches so yeah that we could be here for a while <laughs> so we've got a uh, starfleet insignia of course the um com badge being of like a trekkie and everything also got some 3d glasses oh stranger things yeah Got some more Star Trek, Starfleet Academy, a shiny rad patch, Barbie, as you know I like Barbie. You can also see my musical inspirations video, Barbie and the rock stars, I'll put the link at the bottom here. Here's my Hawaiian Sunset Maui patch, which I recently just got on my first ever trip to the Hawaiian Islands, which was amazing. This was a really recent edition, Game Boy Color patch, which was from Hot Topic. This shiny crybaby patch from Sugar Bones. I think that was the right thing. I'll, I'm gonna put all the stuff in the um, description below. So this is like a furry cat. I got it years ago in Camden Market. This is a custard cream patch. <laughs> I like custard creams. They taste good. Make a cup of tea, put it, put it in there. You're done really, it's good. Oh, the custard cream is, is uh, by Nikki Williams. These ones are, um, you know, school name tags that you have for your clothes and stuff when you're at school. And they're the names of some people who are my friends, people in my year group. I basically nixed the idea of somebody. I tried to get them off like everybody, but that really didn't happen. There's only a few, but it's, it's cool anyway. A hell yeah patch, which is from Skinny Dip London. Oh, but they basically make the most amazing bags, just like shiny and glittery and it's all the kind of stuff that I love. A rainbow. Baymax and a heart from Big Hero 6. Marie from the Aristocats. NASA. This is more, more Disney. So like the Lion King. It's also pretty recent, which is cool. I like, this, I like the silhouettes on it. Sparkly Apple. Poisoned Apple from Snow White, I suppose. This was cool. This um, Polly Pocket Society patch, which is from uh, My Cat and the Moon, which is I got from Etsy. Fashion Plates patch. But like a classic um, movie... Um, clipper tape board thing. A uh, patch from my first trip to Japan. Japan is so awesome, I've been there twice, I'd love to go again. This is a Warrington Wolves rugby league team patch. Okay, we're finished on that uh, front, sec second front side. This is a patch for Club Debrief. TARDIS! This is a I Heart Captain Jack Sparrow. It's all about the rum. This is the Maltese Eye of Good Luck. It's a bit of a sparkly one. I've probably said this somewhere before, but um, my mum is, uh, her family is from Malta, so I've always got that on there. This is just a cool guitar. Rock and roller coaster, because this is one of my favourite rides in Walt Disney World. This awesome flounder patch from The Little Mermaid, because it's my favourite Disney film. Oh, this is a skating award patch, because I did like figure skating when I was little. Okay, now we're on to the back of the jacket. I mean, the proper back of it. So I have a McBusted patch. This uh, Kimberly Pink Ranger Mighty Morphin Power Rangers patch, which is so awesome. This huge one, which is Toy Story, it's like, it's actually really big for a patch. Pusheen, because I love Pusheen, she's this amazing, adorable cat, if you didn't know already, I'm sure you do. Gets up to all kinds of crazy antics and uh, 
eats pizza and plays on laptops and stuff. The next few I'm just going to show you at the same time. This one, this one, this and this one at the bottom here. They're ones I collected uh, on trips to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I'd get them from the gift shop where they'd sell patches and other merch that were to commemorate the launch that would be happening at that time or had just happened. It's just kind of a cool thing because, you know, you just get them then and that was it really. Okay, down to our last few, so almost there. This one, bloodthirsty and pink hearts. This is also from Sugar Bones. Just a really cute design. It's delicate, yet sends a strong message to those who might uh, cause you harm. This is a little Care Bears themed patch. One from my trip to Iceland. A Nintendo brand, obviously. I've been, okay, so last year I visited Stonehenge and this is a Stonehenge rocks patch. You see what they did there. This I picked up a few years ago from eBay, I think. Actually, it was from eBay for sure. Um, just a vintage Death Leopard patch. Just really cool, shiny, heavy metal rules. US Girl Scouts Earth Day 2011. I didn't get it in 2011. I just found it in a vintage shop when I was um, seeing a, a friend of mine in Los Angeles. Kirby! Only four more to go. Got a sparkly cupcake. A musical note. This Aperture Laboratories patch, which is actually, when you think, the scheme of the jacket is small and it's sort of quite low down. But people who are Portal fans always pick it up. And lastly, I have my Aerosmith 2007 tour patch. We bought like a VIP ticket, but it wasn't really VIP. You got like a t-shirt patch, um, like a pointless lanyard and you got into the venue early. Yeah, basically that was my first time ever seeing Aerosmith and I'd always wanted to see them and I kind of felt like that was possibly my only chance. And it kind of looks like it is because they seem to be quitting, which is very sad. So in total right now, there are 53 patches on my jacket, which is quite a lot. Um, I sort of can't really believe I managed to sew them all on. It's nice to really put the time, the time and effort in something and, you know, and then obviously it's, it's really nice when people obviously can see you've made you've made that effort and then they admire your works. So thank you to everybody who said really nice things about my jacket. It's very special to me. Yeah, and I'm definitely gonna keep adding to it. Really the only problem I have with this jacket now is knowing where to stop because it sort of can't be covered completely because that'll look like too much. So <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it.